Okay, here's an IBM 6892, Pentium 3, running off an 8 gig SanDisk compact flash card, and we're cloning over with Max Blast 4, uh, a Windows 2000 embedded system, onto a DOM, which is a disk on module, which I've got connected to an IDE card. I first tried it off a slave connection here and it never worked, so I ended up putting an IDE card in and plugging it in the disk on module here. And uh, that actually works. So we're cloning over a system for an embedded system. This is an old Pentium uh, 3, 2, 3 box. And we're running Windows 2000, and this this is for a scanner unit that I run. This has got a 1.3 gigahertz processor in it, and I've got two 256 uh, meg disks, so I've got 768 megs of RAM in here. And this is a SAN disk. 45 megabits per second compact flash card. When you use these cards, you've got to go through and flip the bit uh, with a DOS program in order to go through and use it as a hard drive because they're not really uh, they're not really set up to be bootable. At least unless you buy an industrial card. This is a non-industrial card, so I used a DOS program to flip the bit. And this is a fairly fast reading card, 45 megabits per second. And this is an IDE to uh, compact flash card. This, this system here only has a max transfer rate of about 33 megabits a second, uh, which was fast for 1998. This is a tower unit. IBM 6892. Again, we're doing transfer here, cloning the C drive over to the E drive, which is the disk on module. And this pro, this Windows 98 machine has got uh, two, three different scan programs on it, and it's got Photoshop. And I'm just making a backup here in case the whole thing crashes. And I've got a couple duplicates like that. I had a little hard time getting these things to run at first until I realized you had to flip the bit on there. Uh, this disk on module here, I plugged it into a... When I first got it, it wasn't bootable and I connected it into a Windows 98 machine. Uh, there's a module right there. And I used that to go through and make it bootable. And this is plugged into a, one of the connectors here, hard drive connector. They don't really draw that much power. This has got an ATX supply. Had this draw, this computer here from about, I want to say 1990, probably 2000. It's been a fairly good unit. Uh, there are some weirdnesses with IBM machines. This has got asset care. In the sense that if you make too many changes it wants to throw out an error and you've got to kind of boot through some stuff. These are actually uh, compact flash using this for has been using embedded systems for a long time. Sometimes you use for gasoline pumps, scanners. Uh, they've kind of been replaced by more by these disk on modules hidden under here. That just plugs directly into an IDE connector.